and virus case counts have dropped across the United States in recent days. This reduction is creating hope that the Omicron-fueled wave is subsiding. According to the Epoch Times, 34 states have recorded a decrease in cases in recent days. That includes some of the states that saw a huge Omicron wave, including New York, California, and Florida. Other states that have seen fewer cases recently include Alabama, Delaware, Georgia, and Louisiana. In Maryland and D.C., Omicron also shows signs of declining. Data from the CDC shows the number of daily cases reported nationwide dropped from over 1.3 million on January 10th to below 900,000 in the days following. Starbucks is no longer requiring its workers to get a vaccine or weekly testing after the Supreme Court blocked the vaccine mandate for large employers. Starbucks Chief Operating Officer John Culver wrote in a memorandum Tuesday, we respect the court's ruling and will comply. And Senator Marco Rubio and Congresswoman Claudia Tenney are calling out two congressional administrators. They say that the two administrators are bullying an American publisher on behalf of a Chinese state-controlled surveillance firm called Hikvision. The two lawmakers sent out a letter Tuesday to the offices of House of Representatives Clerk Cheryl Johnson and Senate Secretary Sanceria Ann Berry. This comes after reports that Hikvision urged those two offices to investigate Internet Protocol Video Market, or IPVM, for alleged lobbying disclosure violations. In the letter, Rubio and Tenney said in doing so, Hikvision attempted to exploit congressional processes to silence IPVM for reporting unfavorably about Hikvision, a state-run entity for the Chinese Communist Party. The two lawmakers urged the two offices to remain vigilant against future attempts by the CCP to use them to, quote, chill free speech and silence dissent. The CDC issued a travel warning on an additional 22 countries with rising cases of COVID-19. Popular destinations included in the most recent warning are Israel, Australia, Egypt, Qatar, and the Bahamas. The CDC uses levels one through four to indicate how severe the spread of the virus is in each country. Over 100 countries are now listed at level four, including the U.S. and Canada. Fewer than 20 countries are listed at level one, including China. It has been over a year since the January 6th Capitol breach, and recent frame-by-frame -frame video analysis shows that Ashley Babbitt, who was fatally shot by the Capitol Police, was actually trying to stop rioters from breaking the doors and windows leading to the Speaker's lobby. The analysis by the Epoch Times found that Babbitt was even stepping between one agitator and the police officers. She tried to prevent destruction of property and vandalism at least four times, according to the video. That was before she got shot by Capitol Police Lieutenant Michael Byrd. According to the Babbitt family's attorney, the Justice Department cleared Byrd of criminal culpability without questioning him or taking a statement. The White House has formed a council of officials to guide its efforts to buy more goods that are made in America. The Made in America office brings together dozens of career and political officials from over 20 federal agencies. They will coordinate how federal agencies use their $600 billion budget to purchase goods and services. The group says on its website that it will foster policies that boost reliance on domestic supply chains and reduce taxpayer dollars spent on foreign-made goods. The group also intends to maximize opportunities for U.S. producers to supply goods and services to the federal government. On Tuesday, the U.S. Navy announced a big jump in illicit cargo seizures last year after increasing patrols in the Gulf of Oman and the Arabian Sea. The seizures are overseen by the U.S. Navy. Combined Maritime Forces and International Partner seized $193 million worth of illegal drugs. That amount is higher than all illegal drugs intercepted over the last four years combined. U.S. ships seized 8,700 illicit weapons, including dozens of advanced Russian-made missiles and thousands of Chinese assault rifles. 